and welcome to the Game Hub. And today I bring you basically a 2023 rewind of all the S classes that I've documented on the Game Hub channel throughout the year itself. Now, this is all of my S class finds and some of the viewer S class finds. We have over 100 for you to get stuck into. So if you never had the chance to catch all my videos throughout the year, this will save you a lot of time. This is every single S class we have documented throughout 2023. Now there are many, many more S classes that have not been put in videos yet, that are ready to go in videos, but that's coming soon. Now, all of these S class ships are in the Euclid galaxy. Okay, that is very important. So let's go. Okay, ship number one on today's list. All the details at the top of the screen. Remember, it's in Euclid. Now, this was one of the viewers' submissions from the Discord finds. This one was submitted by Crin. Color scheme on this one is black and white or purple and white. Supercharged slots, you need to take to the space station to see the fourth because you've got two on the right and two towards the left but great in the air. Now, do you like the boards? That is the question. Some people don't like it obstructing their view. What's your opinion? Next. Okay, ship number two on today's list. Now all the details, top of the screen. This one was another one submitted in a recent viewer video and it was submitted in the Discord by Coxaflopping69. Now the color scheme on this one comes in white and purple with the skinny dragonfly wings. Supercharged slots, you can see two on the right and two on the left. It does look great in the air, them deep vent wings. Do you like this style, skinny wings? Hmm, next. Okay, now ship number three on today's list. Now this one was submitted by Dogo Mojo in the Discord in a recent viewer video. The color scheme on this one comes in like a caramel kind of gold uh, and black. Now the supercharged slots, two on the right, and once you've unlocked the slots, you've got two on the left as well. Now I don't have any airborne footage of this, unfortunately. Uh, I lost the files or I didn't record them. Human error. I don't know. Either way, this thing does look amazing. What do you think of this one? Hmm? Next. Right, ship number four now on today's list. This one was another viewer's submission recently, submitted in the Discord by Crin. Now, the color scheme on this ship comes in red and black. It does have that top board that not many people like, do you? Now, supercharged slots, we can see all four right away, two at the top, uh, one on the right, and one on the left. In the air, it does look okay, but do you fly inside? Because that affects many people. Next. Ship number five. Now, this one was also submitted by Crin recently for a viewer video. Now, this one comes in a color scheme of blue and white and a little bit of black there. It is a tie style, this one, so it always looks better in the air. Supercharged slots, we've got three steps on the left and one on the right. Now, in the air, like I say, they do look better because that opens up and it takes its full form. What do you reckon? Next. Right, ship number six now on today's list. Another Discord submission. This one was by Cyphors. Color scheme on this one comes in green and black. Now it does have the board on the top and on the bottom. Again, third person view maybe, first person view, hmm. Supercharged slots, two on the left, one in the middle, one on the right. Do you like green or should it never be seen? In the air, it looks all right, considering it's green. It's not quite orange though. That would be bad. Next. Okay, now ship number seven. All the details, top of the screen. Another Discord submission. This one was submitted by Kaioken. Color scheme on this ship comes in blue and red. Superhero color scheme. Now, supercharged slots. We have two on the right initially and one on the left. Once fully upgraded, you see three over towards the right and one on the left. Not bad in the air. Not a lot changes though, very simple. Do you like the superhero color scheme? Not me, not anymore. Next. Right, now ship number eight. Details top of the screen, another submission via Discord recently, this one by Cyphors. Now, the color scheme on this one comes in white and black. Lovely. It's got the stinger on there, it's got the mini wings on there. Supercharged slots though, you need to take it to the space station to unlock all of them. And then once you've done that, you can see they're very spread out. But either way, this is not a bad looking ship. Very great in the air, look at this bad boy. Look at it, take it all in. But let's move on. Next. Right, ship number nine. Now this one was submitted by Cyphors also. This one comes in a color scheme of orange and black. Very, very simple style. Um, now in terms of supercharged slots, we can see they're very spread out. 
Uh, we've got two over towards the left and two over towards the right. In the air, the shape doesn't really change too much. It stays as it is. Next. Okay, number 10. All the details top of the screen. This one was also submitted by Crin via the Discord. Color scheme on this one comes in a construction yellow and black. It has the mini wings top and bottom, as well as the mandibles at the top. Uh, supercharged slots, we can see one right, one middle, one left, but once you've unlocked that lock slot, two to the right, one middle, one left. In the air, once it all opens up, it does look okay, but the mandibles, hmm, they put me off a bit, unfortunately. What about you? Next. Okay, ship number 11. This one also submitted via the Discord by Crin. Uh, the color scheme on this dragonfly comes in a nice dark black and purple. With big fat light on the front, full size dragon wings, extender thrusters on the bottom, Ooh, and yellow tips. Now, supercharged slots, we've got two on the left, one in the middle, one on the right. Once you've unlocked all the slots, bang in, absolutely bang in. Now, this is a beautiful small dragonfly if you want to keep them simple and sleek. Nice construction yellow. Next. Okay, now ship number 12. Now, this one was found by myself previously. It comes in a color scheme of yellow and purple. Now it has the deep vented wings, which I really do like on this one. It looks grand. Now, when it comes to the supercharged slots, we can see two on the right, and then we've got one towards the left. But then once you've unlocked it, it's more towards two towards the middle and two on the right. Now, in the air, this thing does look great. It's very simple, but big fat vent wings, they do finish these off. Nice, next. Okay, number 13 on the list. Another one previously found by myself. Uh, the color scheme on this one comes in a kind of green and white. It has the under extenders to give it the thrusters and the nice pointy front. Now, supercharged slots are not amazing. We've got three towards the middle, but not grouped and one on the right. Now in the air, it depends if you like the skinny wings and this color scheme. If you like green, it may appeal to you. Next. Okay, now ship number 14, another one previously found by myself. This one is pretty much all red with just a tiny bit of black. We've got the prongs on the top. Um, it's almost like a tie, but not quite. But once in the air, it does change. Supercharged slots, we've got two tools in the middle, one on the left. Once you've unlocked the other slot, again, they're spread out, but you've got a group of two at least. Uh, now, once in the air, like I say, it does spread out just a little bit and the wings dip down. Is it enough for you though? Do you like this one? Next. Okay, ship number 15. Oh, it took a lot to put this one back in the video. This one, also found by myself in the past, details top of the screen, comes in orange and white. As the solid encased top uh, and the bottom section is not solid encased. The supercharged slots, two on the left and two towards the right. The bottom does fan out once you get in the air, so it does give it a little bit of shape, but still, it's a hauler and it's orange. Do you like it? I don't. Next. Okay, now ship number 16 on today's list. All the details are top of the screen. Another one previously found by myself. Uh, this one comes in a kind of purple and white with the mini wings top and bottom. Unfortunately, it also has those mandibles. Not a big fan. Supercharged slots, we've got two on the right and two towards the left. Once in the air, it takes this little mini X-wing shape, but the mandibles, oh, not for me. No, no, next. Okay, ship number 17 is another one previously found by myself on a live stream. Uh, the color scheme on this one comes in a green and blue. It has the fangs, it has the mini wings on the top, extended thrusters top and bottom. Not a bad looking ship, this one, if you like the color scheme. Supercharged slots, initially you can just see three towards the middle. Uh, once you've unlocked the slot on the right, you can see that's where it's located for the fourth. Now, no airborne footage, unfortunately, but this looks great, right? Next. Okay, now ship number 18 on today's list. All the details, top of the screen, previously found by myself on a live stream. Color scheme on this one comes in green, white, and black. Now it does have the mini wings, the prongs, the extended thrusters, the winch, uh, lots going on. Supercharged slots for the first three we can see towards the middle, and then the fourth is over on the right. In the air, it does look okay if you like green, white, and black. Deep vented wings, not bad. Do you like it? Next. Okay, now ship number 19. This is another one that was found by myself previously on a live stream. Color scheme on this one comes in a mint green and black and purple. Now it's a dragonfly style, full size wings, very minimal though, it's not bad. Supercharged slots are very good, three together on the right and one on the left. In the air, this thing does look pretty good. If you like the mint green, again, nice, simple, sleek style. Love it, next. 
Ship number 20 now. Another submission from a viewer. This one was Chrome Cat God, which was submitted via the Discord. Color scheme on this one comes in red and yellow. Hmm. Now, vented wings, mandibles, not a lot going on. Do you like it this simple? Supercharged slots, we've got three over towards the right and one over towards the left. Hmm. In the air, it does look a bit better, but not for me. No mandibles. No, uh uh. You can keep them. Next. Okay, ship number 21. Now this one was submitted by Tylus, again in a previous stream. Beautiful dragonfly, lovely little color scheme here. It's like a pale off-white caramel. I don't know what you want to call this, but it's got the white on the tips as well. Supercharged slots, we've got two on the right and two on the left. It does look really nice in the air. Again, those beautiful deep vented wings, full-size wings, pincers. What more do you need? Next. Ship number 22 on the list today now. This is another viewer submission. Uh, this was submitted by Nez Kroll in the Discord. Now, color scheme on this one comes in white and black. Also has that fat, juicy light on the front. Now, supercharged slots, we can see three grouped over on the left and one in the middle. Very nice supercharged slot layout on this one. The four mini wings give it that nice X-wing shape in the air. The rear extended bat wing, as we like to call it, or I like to call it, does finish this off nicely. But, mandibles again, next. Okay, ship number 23. Now this one was submitted also by a viewer, Taki. The color scheme on this one comes in a red and black. Mm. It's got the box front, the under section, and skinny wings on this one. Supercharged slots, uh, we can see three initially. Once you've upgraded all the slots or unlocked the slots, you've got two on the right and then two towards the left. Now in the air, it does look pretty nice. The bottom section does fan out, but like I say, it has the skinny wings. So if you like skinny wings and you like that fan section, nice, next. Okay, now ship number 24. This one was also submitted by a viewer previously and that viewer was Morgana. Color scheme on this one is yellow, red and black. It does have the tank feet, but it also has that top board. Supercharged slots, three really spread out towards the middle. Fourth is also spread out, but do you like the style enough to take it regardless? Now in the air, this thing tucks up, but the board doesn't move, it keeps solid. Hmm, what do you reckon? Next. Okay, now ship number 25. All the details, top of the screen. Another recent viewer submission, and that viewer was Moist Brownie. Now the color scheme on this one is purple and gray, dragonfly style, full size wings. Now supercharged slots though unfortunately are very spread out, but if you can put that to a side, uh, this is a very nice looking dragonfly, very graceful in the air, and I always love the full size wings. I'm a sucker for them. Next. Now, ship number 26. Now this one was also a viewer's submission. In fact, it was one of our mods, Fry Sonic. Now the color scheme on this ship comes in a green and black. A lot going on with this one, with the boards on the top, the prongs on the top, prongs on the side, extender frosters, tank feet. Oh, it's busy. And we've got two supercharged slots and another two supercharged slots for a two-two combo. Now, in the air, it doesn't look too bad. If you like this kind of thing, but they're not for me. What about you? Next. Okay, now ship number 27. Now this one is also a viewer find and it was found by Gentle, who recently submitted it in the Discord. Now, the color scheme on this dragonfly comes in red, white, and black, with the skinny wings also worth noting, and it does have the tank feet supercharged slots. Initially, we can see three over on the left, unlock the ones on the right, and you can see that's where the fourth is. Now, in the air, this thing doesn't look too bad. Again, skinny wings, that's the only thing that would have put me off of it, but I know a lot of people love them, so I'll show them. Next. Right, now ship number 28. This one was found by Six Killer and submitted for a recent viewer video. This is a yellow and purple free-eyed TIE fighter. Looks very simple on the ground. Uh, supercharged slots, they're very spread out though. Uh, once you've unlocked the fourth, you can see there's two together at least and then two together towards the middle. In the air, when it all spreads out, this is when the TIE fighters take shape. They always look better in the air. Beautiful, next. Okay, ship number 29. Ah, oh, it's orange. It was submitted by Fry Sonic. It's orange, white, and black. Lots and lots going on in this one. Um, I'm trying to think of a kind word to say. Um, it's got thrusters, uh, supercharged slots. There you go, three together in the middle, and then one just to the left of that. 
makes up for it being orange what do you reckon in the air okay i've said this before it doesn't look too bad there's lots of weight to make up for the orange hmm nice one next right ship number 29 this one was submitted by moist brownie now this one comes in white and black it's almost a tie uh, it's got the mini wings on the bottom so it does look pretty funky this one now vent wings as well worth noting two supercharged in the middle uh, one left one right in full form uh, in the air you can see the winch up there as well it does spread out like a tie fighter um the bottom mini wings as well do you like them hmm next okay now ship number 30 this one was submitted by Potsy Dog in a recent viewer video. It's a dragonfly style that comes in yellow, white, and black. Now it does have the skinny wings and the winch on the front. Now supercharged slots, they're very, very spread out as you can see, kind of everywhere. So if you like the color scheme enough, you'll take it. But otherwise, are the slots good enough for you? Hmm, S classes are not always the best. Next. Okay, now ship number 31. This one was submitted by Saskik. This is the final one on today's list. This was in a recent viewer video. Color scheme on this ship comes in a gray and black and purple. Now it does have the tank feet and that top board. Supercharged slots initially don't look great, but once you've unlocked those slots on the left, there they all are, all four stacked over towards the left. In the air, the only thing, like I say before, that puts me off a ship like this is that top board. Right, ship number one coordinates portal address top of the screen this one is a hauler style it comes in a yellow and red uh, nice wide front with the three eyes if you're into haulers you may like this one uh me i'm over the hauler stage a long time ago they do not float my boat as for the supercharged slots though they are pretty decent we've got three on the right and then one in the middle nice group to mount there in the air it's not going to change much where it is the solid in case top and bottom yeah it's uh, a hauler next Right, number two on the list now. Again, details are the top of the screen. Color scheme on this one is red. Very simple tank feet hauler. No wings, just the top body and the small free eyes. It's not a bad little ship, but not for me. Supercharged slots, we've got two in the middle, one on the left, one on the right. Hmm, okay. Now in the air, as you can see, it's very simple. The only thing that changes is the tank feet tuck up, and that is all you're gonna get. Next. Okay, ship number three on the list now. Details top of the screen. Again, another hauler with the extended front top and bottom. It is solid encased again, so top and bottom will not change once airborne. Does have the few prongs on the top there. Uh, again, I'm over the hauler stage, like I say, not for me. Do you like haulers still? Two in the middle, two on the right when it comes to supercharged slots. In the air, like I say, nothing is gonna change on this one. It's staying exactly as it is on the ground. Other than the wings are gonna dip down slightly. Moving on, next. Okay, ship number four. Again, a very simple S-Class, this one. Details are top of the screen. This one comes in a simple black, or some may call it purple. Now, it's not gonna change much. The only thing going for this one, it has multiple extended thrusters. Uh, two on the left, two on the right for the supercharged slot. Now, in the air, like I say, nothing at all is gonna change. Same on the ground as it is in the air, next. Okay, now ship number five on the S-Class list. All the details top of the screen for the coordinates and the portal address. Yellow and black is the color scheme on this one. Now it does have the underboards which act as pincers on the front and rear extended thrusters. So simple, but very nice. Uh, supercharged slots, we can see one on the left, two up towards the middle and one on the right. Could be better. In the air, nothing's changing. It is as on the ground. You just see the boards underneath surfing away there. But not bad, not bad. Let's move on, next. Number six on the list. Portal address, coordinates, top of the screen. Color scheme, blue, white, and black. It does have the hauler style look to it. Um, I hoped it was gonna be an X-Wing style, but it's not, just to let you know in advance. It does have the nice light, simple wings with the prongs, supercharged slots you'll need to take to the space station to see all of the slots, and that's two on the left, one in the middle, one on the right. Now, as I mentioned, it doesn't spread out into an X-Wing shape, this one. It keeps the shape it had on the ground, but either way, nice looking hauler if you do like the hauler styles, but not me, next. Right, ship number seven on the list now. Now, this one comes in red, white, and black 
It's a dragonfly style, very simple. Uh, it's on the chicken legs, as people like to call them. Uh, either way though, if you like this color scheme, it is a nice, simple dragonfly. Uh, supercharged slots, you have to take to the space station again to see them all, and that's two on the left, one in the middle, one on the right. Now, once you take this in the air, like I say, it's very simple dragonfly. It's not over the top. It doesn't have all the extra thrusters on the side and the prongs, but it's still nice. Next. All right, ship number eight now on the list. Now, this one was submitted by Cox of Flopping 69 in the Discord. This was part of the viewer finds video. This one comes in a gray and red. It's a dragonfly tank feet, but it has the skinny dragonfly wings. But if you don't mind that, then this is a very nice ship. Supercharged slots, once you've unlocked the last slot, is two middle, two right. Very nice. Now, once in the air, like I say, if you don't mind the skinny dragonfly wings, this thing does look beautiful. Look at it. Gray and red, quite a rare color scheme. Do you like this one? I really do like this one. Next. Okay, ship number nine on the list is another viewer find from the previous viewer find video submitted to the Discord by Twix. Uh, the color scheme is red, white, and black. It's a dragonfly style with the tank feet, skinny dragonfly wings, supercharged slots, two towards the middle, two on the right, so not too bad. Uh, once in the air, it does look rather nice. The extended thrusters and the prongs on the wings, the upside down Y light. Not a bad little ship, this one. Next. Okay, ship number 10 on the list now very simple one wingless one this one we just have that extension on the top and the extension on the bottom prongs also on the top comes with the purple cab uh, black pieces elsewhere now supercharged slots we have one middle uh, and then three towards the right but only two are touching submitted by Cox of flopping uh, on the discord this one also from the viewer finds do you like it next Okay, now ship number 11, another Discord submission. Uh, this was Game Crasher, again from the previous viewer find video. Now this one comes in pure white uh, with the upside down Y light, the tank feet, uh, it has the skinny dragonfly wings again, but again, nice white ship, this one. Uh, the supercharged slot layout, you can see there's three kind of clumped towards the middle, but not touching and one on the right. But either way, beautiful looking ship. Do you like this one? I really do like this one. Now this one was in my collection for a little while, but I did replace it with one you'll see shortly. Next. Okay, ship number 12. This one is a yellow, black and white dragonfly once again. Again, skinny wings. We found a lot of S-Class skinny wing dragonflies in the last few videos. Supercharged slots, as you can see, we have two in the middle, one just to the right of that. And the fourth one is also over across to the right. So. Do you like this one? Are you a skinny wing lover? Hmm, let's move on. Next. Okay, ship number 13. Very, very simple one, this one. It's just a simple gray bug. That's it. Chicken feet, uh, triangle light. Uh, it's not really a lot to say about this one. Supercharged slots, one on the left, and then we've got two over there towards the right. Two clumped when you've upgraded it to uh, or unlocked that slot even. Now in the air, you can see, like I say, nothing really changes. Next. Okay, let's go, let's go. Ship number 14. All the details you need are at the top of the screen. This is a white dragonfly that I found recently. Full-size dragon wings, and this replaced the other white dragonfly that you saw earlier. I do prefer the full-size wings. Tank feet as well. Supercharged slots, we've got two over there on the right, and then two kind of spread apart towards the middle. Either way, it's in my collection. It's staying in my collection until I find one better. What do you think of this one? I really do like this one. Let's go, let's go, next. Okay, now ship number 15 on the list. This one was found, the variant was found by Black Knight. It's a ship I did find on one of the live streams. Uh, Black Knight came in, assisted, and found this S-Class variant. There is also an A-Class variant in the previous video, which does have slightly better slots. But the S-Class variant, as you can see here, there's the supercharged slots, very spread out. Um, it's lovely though. The pipe thrusters, yellow, black and white, beautiful dragonfly, full size wings. Do you like this sort of fly? I do, I do. Next. Okay, now ship number 16. Again, uh, a live stream viewer found the S-Class variant of a ship I found on stream, and that's Cypher 1435. This one comes in a black and green, very simple, uh, nice vented side wings. The supercharged slots, we can see one on the left, two in the middle. Uh, when you upgrade it, you've got two on the left, two in the middle. So not a bad little uh, layout, 
for an S-Class find. Uh, in the air, it does look quite elegant. I do like these simple, sleek ones. It looks very poised. Next. Okay, now, ship number 17. Now, this one is orange, as I mentioned in a previous video. Yes, orange. I'm not a big fan of orange, and the only reason we did document this one is because it was an S-Class, and if there's a small chance someone likes an S-Class, well, there you go. I'm not a big fan of orange. I used to document all the oranges as well, but not so much anymore. They drive me crazy. What about you? Do you like them? Next. Okay, ship number 18 now. This one comes in green and white. Very simple, white vented wings. It has the tank feet and it has that top board. It has the Y light extender thrusters on the back. Uh, now, to me, that board on the top is awful. However, there are players I know, as I've uh, seen in the live streams recently, that do like that style of ship. So the supercharged slots, though, all spread out really. Nothing really to talk about there. In the air, though, does look quite nice, other than that top bit, if you ask me. Hmm. Next. Okay, ship number 19 on the list. This was in the last video. It was the black and red Dragonfly. Skinny wings, but it does have beautiful black wings. The extender thrusters on the bottom and the dual black sort of toned pincer at the front. Supercharged slots has three grouped there in the middle. Uh, once you're taken to the space station, the fourth one is over on the right, but oh, lovely. Now, the only thing that stopped me from uh, keeping this one was the skinny wings. Do you like it with the skinny wings? I know people have picked this up already, but will you? Next. Okay, now, ship number 20. This one is what I've called Yellow Hornet. Another one I found on stream, and then a viewer, Black Knight 813 went and found the S-Class version, uh, and then posted it in the comments. We documented that one instead of the A that I found, but the A version can also be found in a previous video. What do you think of this one? Mm, it's nice. I did keep it for a while, but I replaced it. Next. So the first Class S in the list today is a blue and black tank bug. Uh, it has the tank feet, has one set of mini wings. It does have that extension on the top of the ship, which could be obtrusive to some in first person view. However, supercharged slots, uh, not a lot to see. Uh, one showing, that is it. You have to go to the space station to unlock the other three, unfortunately. Now, in the air, not a lot's going to change, as you would expect, as it is a simple bug. The only thing that changes is the wings do dip down. Moving on, next. Okay, so the second S-Class in the list today is another blue and black bug here. Now, this one is a simple, sleek style. It has multi-layers of wings, all are blue. Blue engine bay as well, four lights on the front. When we look at the supercharged slots, we can see all four are available. Two on the right, one in the middle, and one slightly left to that as well. It's not bad overall. You could do something decent with this one. Next. Okay, the third class S in the list today. Now this one is a red, white, and black dragonfly style. It has two, maybe even three layers of wings down there. The wings, unfortunately though, on the dragonfly section are only skinny versions. They are not the full width dragon wings. It does have an extended thruster on the bottom, thanks to that undercarriage. Uh, it does have the pincers on the front. Supercharged slots, we can only see three at this point. You'd need to go to the space station to get the fourth one unlocked, but it is there. Next. Okay, the fourth Class S today. So this one comes in a yellow and orange color scheme. It is a hauler style. Now it does have the three lights on the front. It has the extended thrusters on the wings. Overall, this is a nice yellow hauler. I do like this one. Now the extensions on the back are very simple, but it does give it a nice look. Uh, the supercharged slots, we can only see three at this current point in time. Visit the space station for the fourth, next. Okay, the fifth Class S today is a white and black Bat-style Sentinel ship. Very, very simple, this one. Not a lot's going to change when you take this bad boy in the sky, but we will take a look anyway. Now, supercharged slots, when we look at them, all four are visible. Three on the left, one on the right. Not bad, not bad. Now, in the sky, like I say, not a lot changes. The only thing you're going to see is the wings that dip down on this one. Overall, though, it's a very sleek looking ship. I do like it. Moving on, next. Okay, now for number six in the Class S list here. This is another white and black and also red 
hauler. Similar to the one we just saw. Uh, very simple, no thrusters on the wings on this one, but overall it still looks nice. That white and black tone with that simple bit of red on the back really does finish it. Supercharged slots, if we have a look, we can only see two. Possible for four on the left once you visit the space station, who knows? Okay, moving on now to number seven in the Class S list. Now this one comes in white, black and red. Very, very simple ship. Um, not a lot to it in terms of exhaust or anything, but you have multiple layers of wings there. Quite a few thrusters going for it. It's not a bad looking ship. Uh, in terms of supercharged slots, you can see all four right from the word go. Three over there on the left and one on the right has good potential and there's no white by the way i don't know why i said white uh once you take it into the sky as you can see because it's such a simple ship again just a dipped wing is all you're going to see next okay for class s number eight today so the color scheme on this one is yellow red and black the style is a dragonfly style now it does have extended thrusters on the wings it has extensions on the bottom um, the dragonfly wings unfortunately are not full width that does let it down uh, supercharged slots we can see two on the right one in the middle one on the left hmm still a great ship though now in the air um, it does look fantastic the only thing like I say that I feel could be better uh, is the dragonfly wings being thicker being the full width that's it next Okay, now moving on to the ninth Class S in today's list. This is another black, simple, sleek uh, Sentinel ship. It does have the multiple layer of wings, thrusters on the side, supercharged slots if we look at them, we can see all four right away, three all clustered towards the middle and one on the right. Quite a nice little combination. Next. Okay, so Class S number 10 now. Now this one comes in yellow and orange. It has lots going on. It's a very simple, sleek Sentinel ship, this one, but it does have the mini wings on the top. It has the extended thrusters, three layers of wings, the mini wings on the bottom, uh, four sets of extended thrusters, thanks to those extensions on the top and the bottom. Lots going on. Uh, supercharged slots, let's have a look at those. You can see three at this current stage. Visit the space station to unlock the fourth. Not bad, not bad. Next. Okay, now class S number 11. This is another red and black hauler. So, solid base on the bottom, prongs on the top of the rear section, one single layer of wings on the side. They look great though, as they are pure black. Overall, the ship looks amazing. Supercharged slots, we can see two on the left, one on the right. Possible to have three together clumped on the left once you've unlocked the fourth slot next okay class s number 12 in the list oh this is a beautiful one still one of my favorites uh this is a black and sort of dark white sort of gray color depends on the planet full-size dragon wings you've got the tank feet on this it looks amazing especially if you like the black ships supercharged slots you can see uh two towards the middle one on the right once you've taken it up to the space station, you can see two on the right and then two that are close together um, in the middle there. So overall, not bad for the supercharged slots. Uh, once in the air, as you can see, it looks absolutely amazing, just like you'd expect it to look. Tank feet tuck up, wings full width, beautiful. Next. Okay, Class S number 13 now. Very simple black Sentinel ship, this one. Um, the extensions on the bottom and the extended boards on the top. Uh, which give the thrusters on the back not a lot to look at here really supercharged slots if we look at them we can see one on the right one just to the left of that and one on the far left next okay class s number 14 in the list this one comes in green white and black very simple sleek ship um, if you like green it may suit your taste I'm not someone that picks up green ships, never have unfortunately, at least not yet. Now supercharged slots, if we have a look at them, we can see all four straight away, three grouped up together on the right and one on its Todd in the middle. Next. Okay, class S number 15 now. This one is solid. Red and black, very simple style. Um, I do like the little dual layer of wings for the small ship. Um, this is one I did pick up I wanted a quick surfer. These ones are pretty agile. 
Um, I wasn't disappointed with the supercharged slots. We can see two on the right, one in the middle, but then when you take it up to the space station, you've got the third one on the right as well. So it's a nice clump to mount there. I've just used them for pulse to get um, decent maneuverability to surf around the planets for my ship hunting. Lovely bubbly. Now in the air, it does have the tie style look when the sides split apart, wings dip down. Really do like this one and it's still in my collection. Let's move on next. All right, class S number 16 on the list now. This is a very bizarre color scheme. It's orange, green, and black. Now I've had multiple layers of wings, the little mini wings. It may have been all right, but nah, 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 not for me. Supercharged slots, let's have a look at them. Uh, we've got three groups up on the left on one on the right, so the supercharged slots are nicely placed. Next. Okay, class S number 17 now. Now this is a beautiful black and white simple Sentinel ship, multiple mini wings on the side, the undercarriage which gives it the extended pinch on the front, three little lights there, beautiful. Uh, supercharged slots, you can see two on the left, one on the right, that is until you take it to the space station and then you get three on the left and one on the right. Not a bad little ship. Uh, once in the air, you can't expect it to do too much other than the wings dipping down, but it still looks graceful. Love it, next. Okay, number 18 on the Class S list here. So, this one is another red and black one, and it's another hauler. Uh, this one does have a little bit of white thrown in the mix too. It does have the exhaust on the back, uh, extended thrusters, uh, it's got prongs on it. Um, overall, it is a nice looking hauler once again, if you like the white in there. Uh, supercharged slots, we can see all four, two towards the middle, one just to the right of that, and then one on the far right. In the air, as you can see, it does look nice when the wings dip down. The hauler section doesn't adjust whatsoever. It stays solid and in place just as it is on the ground. Next. Okay, number 19 on the Class S list now. Another red and black one. Loads of red and black today. Uh, this has lots going on. The four little mini wings top and bottom. You have the extended top, uh, exhaust, extended bottom, which gives the extended thrusters as well. Um, just one simple layer of wings. Overall though, this is not bad. Uh, no supercharged slot information. I think I've lost a file. Oops. Okay, class S number 20. Color scheme on this one is black and yellow. Worth noting the only part that is yellow, being such a small ship, is the engine. Nothing else. Now we had a ship on the list similar to this earlier, except the boards were on the top and the skinny extension was on the bottom. Meh. Now in terms of supercharged slots, we can see two on the left and one on the right until you take it to a space station for the fourth. Next. Okay, class S number 21 in the list now. Okay, this one color scheme comes in orange, white and black. It is a hauler style. It doesn't have any extended thrusters on the wings. Instead, it has the prongs. Same as on the rear, it has a couple of prongs there. It does have an exhaust on the engine bay. Overall, it's not a bad looking hauler, this one. Supercharged slots, we can only see three all grouped up on the left. Visit the space station for the fourth, and that could also be on the left. Next. Number 22 on the Class S list now. This one is white green and black. Similar to one we saw earlier, except this one does have two layers of wings, uh, which does make it that little bit extra, and the exhaust, of course. Uh, now, do you like green though? That's the question. Supercharged slots, we can only see one until you take it to the space station. So there could be a possibility for four over there. Next. Okay, class S number 23 now. Okay, this one comes in the color scheme of blue and white very simple looking sentinel ship this one um, it does have the extended thrusters on the wings and an exhaust on the back um, it has those extensions that do push out to the front but personally not my cup of tea and i don't have any supercharged slot information lost it or i forgot next okay number 24 on the list now this one is a lovely off white off yellow i'm not quite sure what it is it was hard to see in this planet lighting but it has beautiful extensions on the side the prongs multiple layers of wings the wings that come out the back extended thrusters supercharged slot information two on the right one in the middle one on the left it's not a bad looking ship next okay number 25 on our list today of the class s ships uh, this one reminds me of the blue one 
it just feels kind of incomplete where the uh, extensions don't go all the way back but it has multiple layers of wings um, it does have the exhaust it has the prongs on the side but it's not my style supercharged slots we have three that are grouped up together there and the fourth one's going to be unlocked once you visit the space station next Okay, number 26 on our Class S list here. Now, we have another red and black hauler here. Again, it's a nice beefy hauler, multiple layers of wings, prongs on the uh, wings itself, prongs on the rear section. It does look like a nice ship, this one. The three lights on the front there as well. Supercharged slot information. We can only see three until you unlock the fourth foot the space station, and that's two in the middle and then one on the left. In the air, not a lot changes other than the wings dip down. Um, but like I say, this does look great, this one. I do like it. Next. Right, Class S, number 27 now. So this one comes in an orange, white and black styling. Um, it does have the fangs on the front, which is quite rare. So even though it's orange, it does make this ship look very nice. Uh, you've got the little mini wings on the top of them boards there, extender thrusters on the side. Uh, in terms of supercharged slots, you've got two on the right, one in the middle, one on the left. Next. Class S number 28 now. Color scheme on this bad boy is pure white. Now, as you can see on this one, you have the three little lights at the front, which I know quite a few people do like. You have dual layer of wings on the side. No extended thrusters on this one. You just have some prongs on the side of the wings. You do have the extensions that go forward. Uh, exhaust on the back as well. Supercharged slots, three grouped up on the left, one on the right. So they're pretty decent. Next. Class S number 29 now. This one comes in orange, black and white. Very simple style. Three little lights on the front again. Dual layer of wings on the side. One white, one black. The extension on the top as well. Very simple bat style ship this one. Uh, do you like the orange though? That's the question. Very rare that I'll pick up an orange. In terms of supercharged slots, we've got two on the right uh, and then two that are scattered near each other over on the left there. Could be better, but not too bad. Um, now, in terms of what it looks like in the air, the only thing you're likely to see change here is the wings that dip down. That is it. Moving on. Next. Okay, class S number 30 now. This one comes in black and dark blue. It is another hauler style. Um, it does have multiple layers of wings. It has the extensions on the wings as well. Now, the hauler top and bottom side of this does split up once it's in the air. Uh, it does angle out, but we'll see that in a moment. Supercharged slots, you have two on the left, but they're not grouped, and you have one on the right. Fourth will be available when you take it to the space station. Now, like I say, the top section and the bottom section of the hauler part does split at an angle, and it does look really nice once airborne. Next. Okay, number 31 on our Class S list now. This one is another orange and black, simple uh, bat style sentinel ship, dual layer of wings. The bottom layer is that thick, chunky wing with the extended second wing that comes out towards the back. Supercharged slots, we can see one on the left, one on the right, and one towards the middle. They could be better, so they're not that great right now. Now, in terms of what it looks like in the air, nothing changes other than the wings dip down. Very simple, very sleek. Moving on, next. And here we go, number 32 on this Class S list. Now, if you made it to this ship, leave a UFO in the comments, just so I can see how many of you made it this far, because you've reached the best ship that I found on journeys five, six, seven, eight, and nine. This is an absolutely stunning black and red Dragonfly style ship with the tank feet on the bottom glorious supercharged slots we have two on the left grouped and then just to the right of that another two grouped absolutely lovely bubbly now in terms of what it looks like in the air fantastic what do you expect the small wings dip down slightly the feet tuck up so the first one is well normally i'd say at this point s class a class they're all s class so no point coordinates and portal at the top of the screen this was the last find of the first journey s class now upon returning when making this video i noticed that someone's made a base on this ship and put a launch pad there so when you land there's a chance the ship's just gonna fly off 
because it's now owned by an NPC. Now what you can do is either go to that NPC and swap your ship for his before he flies away. Um, and if he does fly away before you get to him, you can just reload your save and he'll be there again. Or you can just do uh, the second option, which is to report the base. Uh, it will disappear. Once it's disappeared, save your game at your ship at that location. Uh, reload the save and once you've reloaded the save the base is gone and the ship will be there business as usual now this might happen throughout many of the ships due to players putting bases there so if you have any issues reload the save that will work or if there's a base there just uh, report it save reload now this is a lovely ship this blue one uh, let's get back to the ship now uh, it has lovely uh, style to it the dragonfly it's clean um, it has half decent supercharged slots as well uh, so let's bring them up it has three clumped together on the left and one on the right next okay now number two coordinates and portal address shown at the top of the screen this one i believe is red black and white but the planet lighting is very red in itself so there's every chance this ship could be orange black and white um, all indicates to me at the time were that it was red. I never took this one for a test flight as I had no room and it wasn't good enough for me personally at the time to swap out for what I already had. So, next. Okay, so the third S-Class. This is still one of my favorites. Uh, I found this on the first journey. Uh, I named it Bumblefly. It has pretty good supercharged slots, which we'll get to them in a minute. Um, lovely style I like the simple wings on the side about the thrusters full-size dragon winds um, has a lovely undercarriage it just it looks good and the yellow and black nice simple yellow not too much really works well in flight as you can see it does look extremely gorgeous if you're into the dragonfly style now with the supercharged slots you have three on the left so you can get as you see they've got 71,000 of infra knife and I use one for pulse on the right moving on next Right, number four, location, coordinates, top of the screen. This one is a blue bug style. It's got the claws, um, very simple wings. They are extended slightly with the extra layer of the color that do uh, protrude at the back. Um, no extra thrusters on the side. It is really simple, really sleek. Um, at the time, I did pick this one up. Um, it's not a bad looking ship in the sky. If you like them simple, sleek and blue, this one's definitely worth checking out, I think. Now, the supercharged slots, we've got two on the left, two on the right. Share them. Next. Okay, now number five. Coordinates and portal shown at the top of the screen. This is another beautiful yellow, black and white. We have another one of these coming up with insane stats, but this one itself is also gorgeous. You've got the pincer style on the front. Um, pure black wings when landed, but when once in flight, as you can see, and they flip, you have the yellow coloring on the wings as well as the body uh, and the white protruding there on that pincer at the front. This is a nice, nice looking ship. Um, in terms of supercharged slots, two on the left and then two separated over on the right. Still a beautiful ship though. Hmm. Next. Okay, number six location coordinates top of the screen this again is in my collection uh, the file name for this was best black dragonfly and it still does remain to be my best black dragonfly it looks good uh, on the ground uh, it's got the whole claw wing situation going on uh, the claws sorry at the front going on uh, it's got the dragon wings full size ones it's all basically black other than the uh, tint which is like a dark silver dark gray it depends on the planet lighting um, as for supercharged slots, you can make use of the three on the right for damage and uh, pulse on the left. Moving on, next. Okay, now the number seven. Coordinates and portal address at the top of the screen now. Now this is a blue and an off-white hauler. Now, I wasn't sure if it was the planet lighting, which is quite dusty, was making a white look off-white. So I did take this one for a test flight, but did not keep it. And it definitely is off-white, even in the sky, away from that dusty planet. Um, it's different. Um, I've only found one or two with this sort of colouring. It's not the greatest looking hauler. Um, uh, supercharged slots, two on the left, one that could be linked up, but eh, next. 
Now, number eight. Another beautiful ship. Now, this is another one that may be glitched because there's a base there. So, again, if you get there and you can't get the ship or it's not accessible, remove, uh, report the base that's close by, uh, save your game near the ship, reload, and then your ship will be there. Okay? So, that's important if you're in a glitched area or a glitched ship situation. Just always save near the ship and reload or remove the base. Either way, gorgeous red, black, and white ship. Uh, supercharged slots, two on the right, and also two that can be put together in the middle. Moving on. Next. Now, number nine. This, hmm, I took this one for a while, but it didn't stay in my collection for very long. I am a sucker for the full size dragon wings, if I'm gonna have the wings. Uh, some people do prefer the skinny finish to the wings. I myself prefer the full width all the way down. Other than the wings, it's a very nice looking ship. Uh, it looks great in the air. Sometimes some ships do look nice without the thrusters on the sides and just the tips, and this is one of them. Nice predominant front. Uh, good ship, other than the wings for me, so I didn't keep it. Slots were not amazing either, as you can see, kind of all over the place. So, uh, a rather balanced ship. Next. Okay, now number 10, location, portal address. As you know, top of the screen. Now, this was originally found in my first journey as an A-Class. Uh, one of the viewers um, who liked this ship went there and continued the hunt, found the S-Class, shared it with me uh, in the comments, uh, and I placed it in the third journey, I believe. I updated the information for it to share that. But Umbra Viper was the viewer that found the S-Class, so credit to him for finding the S-Class. Now, the ship itself does look glorious if you like the Dragonfly style, full-size wings, undercarriage extended, uh, predominant front because of that, exhaust on the top. Um, it's nice, it's, I do like this style. The supercharged slots, you get three stacked on the right and one on the left. Pretty nice DPS on this one, very nice. Next. Right, moving on, so number 11, uh, coordinates and portal address now at the top of the screen. Color scheme, blue, black, and yellow. Pretty simple, the style, not a style that I would pick up, or at least keep, um, but there are people that do like these. So, is this your color scheme? Um, nice predominant front, top and bottom, but it needs to be better than that. Now, supercharged slots, two left, two right. Hmm, next. Okay, number 12. This one is red and black. Um, the wings cut off and just fully extend thanks to the pipe and the extender thruster so it's quite unique it doesn't look uh, like the majority of the ships you see in the nexus um, and there's just certain styles that a lot of people go for so this one stands out a little bit um, looks nice and flight i picked this one up for a while um, the reason i picked this up is because it does have very nice supercharged slots if you like a bit of damage all four of those are stacked over on the right so you could put them all together nice little ship nice little ship let's move on next okay number 13 is as simple as it comes coordinates portal address top of the screen it comes in a uh, simple black with the sort of gray silver off black engine that's all you're getting really just a small basic bug moving on next so number 14 coordinates portal address top of the screen um Definitely not my color scheme, but I'm including it uh, because it is the S-Class. It's orange and black. Um, it's a nice style, if you like this style, but the color scheme, never been a big fan of the orange and black. Now, this is one of the early ones I picked up, so I had room at the time just to test it in flight, but it did not stay in my collection. Definitely not my cup of tea. Now, as for the supercharged slots, let's have a look at those. Now you've got two on the left, and then there's also two that can be combined in the middle if you wanted to. So, yeah, do you like it? Next. All right, 15. Coordinates, portal address, top of the screen. Very bizarre combination, this one. It's orange, yellow, and black. Now, nothing too fancy about it, no extra prongs. Uh, it does have the extra thrusters on the wings, but it's just, just a set, single set of wings that's got a slight extension on the front. Um, it's nothing too fancy. Again, it's one of those I picked up quite early on when I had the slots. Now, I wouldn't be able to test flight these. Uh, supercharged slots, though, worked out quite well on this one. Three that can be used together on the right and one on the left. Next. Right, 
number 16. This one is another blue simple style one. This one, however, has white uh, underwings, like three layers of wings. You've got white, then the blue, and the black, and the black ones extend on the back. Uh, the white also enters onto the engine bay. Um, simple, like I say, it's got the claws. Um, do you like these simple styles, and do you like it in blue? Moving on, next. Okay, number 17 now. Uh, coordinates, portal address, top of the screen. Now, I found many in this color combination throughout my journey. So if you like this Spider-Man style, as I refer to them as, uh, I found tons of them throughout my journey. Even put a video up of uh, four or five of them uh, early on. Either way, uh, if you like the blue and red, and you like the hauler style, the extended style, this is quite a nice little one, uh, worth checking out. Uh, as for supercharged slots, uh, we've got two on the right, one in the middle, one on the left. Hmm, not bad. Not great though. Moving on, next. Okay, number 18, coordinates, portal address, top of the screen. Now, this one is just plain black uh, with a slight sort of white trim. I think that's just a default pattern, to be honest, on the wings. Um, so, technically, this is classed as pure black, I guess. Uh, simple, slim, elegant, double wings, predominant front. Now, it's worth mentioning that those sort of uh, extensions on the top and bottom they do spread open as you can see they just closed so it doesn't look like that when it's flying supercharged slots not amazing though moving on next now number 19 Whew, nearly at the end now now coordinates and port address top of the screen this one um definitely not my style red black um extended thrusters on the top near nah, does not float my boat at all but Horses and quarters, as I said before, someone out there will like this bad boy, I am sure. Now, moving on, next. Okay, number 20. Very simple bat-like style, blue bug uh, with an exhaust, double layer of black wings. The rear ones extend quite far, so when you look from above on this one, it does look like a little bat, it's quite cool. But I had no room for it. Do you like it? Bat, bat, bat. Next right number 21 this is another black one with a slight bit of white on the engine bay itself extended thrusters thanks to the pipes extended front top and bottom um i can't remember if the uh tops on this spread out or not i really can't remember long time ago i picked this one up um but if you like this style it's quite elegant quite sleek but uh no not for me supercharged slots weren't amazing either one left one right two middle Meh, moving on. Next. Right, number 22. Another Spider Man style, as I call them. Uh, again, S Class. It's got the extended bottom, a little bit pincers. Um, it doesn't have the fangs. If it had the fangs on this, it would be really, really nice. But it doesn't have them. Uh, no extra exhaust on the top, which is fine because you get to see the full color scheme. Uh, in flight, it looks all right. I picked this one up for a little while. Um, it's not a bad looking ship. Like I say, if you like the blue and reds, I've plenty of these on offer. I found loads of them, loads of nice ones too. Uh, supercharged slots, three stacked on the left, one on the right. Not too bad at all. Not shabby. Next. Okay, number 23. We're getting close to the best now. We are getting close to the best. Now, this one, it looks red and green. Could be the planet lighting. I did not take this one off the uh, planet itself. It could turn out to be blue, but it looks like it's red and green. Hmm, definitely not a color scheme I'll pick up. And it's quite a bland hauler, but it is S-Class. So it has to be listed in this video. Next. Okay, number 24. Now, before I show you the best, I'm gonna show you what I would class as the worst. Uh, I don't like the green one, especially uh, this sort of shape. Green for me screams C-Class, even though it's an S-Class. Um, if anyone likes this, please let me know in the comments because I can't see anybody liking this. Let's move on to the best find, shall we? Number 25, let's go. Right, now if you stuck around for number 25 or until we reach number 25, congratulations, you've stuck around to the best ship. Um, if you are one of those viewers that stuck around to this ship, uh, put a banana in the comments just to indicate you've got to this point and you have reached the best ship of my entire journey so far. Out of all the 250, this was the only one that had the full grouped up supercharged slots. 
perfectly positioned in the top right hand corner um, and even with the slots the other stats are still insane on the ship um, it looks absolutely glorious it's got the pincer style at the front uh, it's got double side wings black on the side four dragon size wings uh, dragonfly wings and as I said four supercharged slots positioned beautifully uh, in for knife I'm getting over 95,000 and I'm still picking up 1200 maneuverability without putting any extra boost on the pulse you should check this one out and that is all 110 S class sentinel ships that I've documented here on the game hub throughout 2023 what was your favorite now these weren't all my finds some of these were submitted into the game hub discord by the viewers so if you want to take part in that sort of thing too you can join our discord and submit your best ships submit your best bases whatever you want and we'll have a look at it now also if you want to be more involved in what we do document here on the game hub join the live streams that are daily every day except monday and you can decide whether we hunt or next what we come across at the end of the day the viewers always have the final say what we do document now as always thanks for watching like subscribe hit that notification bell and i'll see you in the next one